And yeah, those streaks that you're seeing up there in the sky, I don't know how we can see exactly right now, you can see more artillery rockets apparently be firing from Russian territory towards the territory, I would say around Kharkiv. I don't know if you can hear this right now. Just gonna not talk for a second. So that's another salvo of what we believe is uh, multiple uh, artillery rocket launchers that have been going off here. Say the second or third salvo that we saw down here. I just want to explain really quick where I am actually, John, because uh, I'm at the last checkpoint uh, before the front line near Kharkiv. I'm on the Russian side. I'm south of the town of Belgorod. And what you see behind me over there, that's the sort of last checkpoint. And in that direction over there, that's where, uh, where Kharkiv would be, where we had Sam Kiley before. So what we've been seeing here over the past couple of minutes, over the past really 45 minutes since we've been here, there's more uh, rockets that's being fired right now. If we look in the sky, we can see it there. If I can ask you to pause for one second here, Fred, I do think we see sure. some equipment behind you rolling. In general, look at this if you can. Yeah. Hey, John, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a, there's a column of main battle tanks that are coming to here. I'd say it's some sort of model of the T-72. You can tell they're rolling past. I'm going to have to speak very loud because they are obviously very loud as they roll along here. Um, they're rolling past our position right now. And what you can see here um, is that their tracks are very dirty. So they must have been dug into some field and now sort of switching their positions. They're coming past us right now. And this is, this is really something. We can get close. You can see that their tracks are really covered in mud. So they must have been sort of dug into some sort of field position as they're rolling past us now. And now if we pan over, you can see that those, those vehicles also, John, are now moving forward. Those vehicles are clearly now moving forward towards the territory of Ukraine. They've come from somewhere um, on the side. They've just made that turn, and that's exactly the road leading to Ukraine. So that certainly to us appears as though right now what we're seeing right here is parts of the Russian military moving further into Ukraine, moving uh, their, their hardware into Ukraine.